What's up funky people, I'm Iteration Funk and today we're back in Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. And I'm really happy with my work since last episode, I did a ton of stuff, mainly around this area. So I made another turbine, and they both have 50. I went with the suggestion that someone commented that we should add some... Wait, where's the other one? It was two of these. There we go. That I should add turbines underneath and kind of hide them. But it was still a bit tricky because if you put it like over here, the connected, connected texture would droop down. So I really want it over here. Then you know I'm bringing some... I'm actually bringing some ME conduits over here and feeding the ethylene from below. So it's a bit more cleaned up. Not uh, as much going on here, I think it looks pretty good now. I also redid these a bit, so the conduits are now more hidden, so it looks a lot better. I also just have one power cell now, that kind of relays the power around to each one. I like the look of that. It's really neat. Then over here, I did, I did hook up, I did try doing advanced solars to heat this up a bit quicker, but uh, yeah, the snow blocks out their uh, vision of the sky, so they don't work during the day, they don't work during the night. So I would need to set up, set up a dedicated like snow clearer to get that to work. Okay, they are still maxed out on heat. I raised these to 1k RF per tick, and yeah. I also hooked up <laughs> two more connections that are maxed out with extract speed upgrades for water. And as you're gonna see later, this still has some issues keeping up. And let's set that up straight away, to be honest. So I wanted to use the dynamic dynamic tank from mechanism which is pretty cool we just need some of these dynamic tank uh, blocks which isn't that expensive it's just steel and the glass is also just steel so it's pretty much the same block just some different approaches let's put a valve here so this can hold a lot of liquid and I think this setup I'm doing will do around maybe 6 million millibuckets. Quite roomy. No, we want glass here. What am I doing today? My aim is off. Anyways, we're just gonna hook up some more structure glass here. And bring this up to the height of the evaporation plant. And this will be the border. There we go, I'm gonna put our roof on. And then we just need uh, edges here. And this, of course, looks way cooler than just having a small, very small tank that's connected to all of this. There we go. But that starts pouring in. And as you can see, it had a bit, a bit of a buffer here. But we still do around 320 millibuckets per tick. So that's around close to 7,000 millibuckets per second. So it's not shabby. This guy still does not get enough water. Like we give him so much water. But uh, still, not enough to fill it. So this is more around how much brine is that? Unless I'm mistaken, that's around close to 700,000 millibuckets per tick. It's actually surprising that it can clear that out so quickly. But yeah, this is really quick. Let's go take a look at what I've planned for this episode. So I planned to do witch water in our mob farm. And of course, that's pretty easy to make. We just need a barrel that's uh, 
on top of some mycelium, then we turn water into witch water. And that will turn at least all skeletons into, into wither skeletons, but I'm not sure if it has any additional side effect. We'll notice. Then I think we're going to do HGPE HGPE pellets for the sheets so that we can make the solar neutron activator so we can turn our lithium into tritium which we'll need for the fusion reactor and then we need to automate the whole process of that turning the, tr the tritium into liquid tritium and all that and then we need to set up pumps for heavy water Let's see if we can do all of that in one episode. That would be pretty cool, I think. So we need mycelium. And let's do like maybe four witch water buckets so we can put this stuff in the corners if we want. Four of that. And we need, need water. Let's put all of the dynamic tank stuff away. And I'll grab some buckets from my sink here. Uh, here's a sink. So I guess we'll just put it here for now. We just need to hook that up to each barrel. And that's gonna take a while. So while we wait for that, yeah, that's gonna take... It's enough time so that I have time for something else, I think. We're gonna head up to pieces. Can't even walk today. We're gonna go up here again and I think I'll set up a temporary... No, we need some substrate with us. For this. Wait, where? which one is the elevator? <laughs> uh, did it snow over the elevator? Oh yeah, this is a problem. <laughs> I guess that putting an elevator there was kind of silly. We need like two stacks of substrate, that should be enough. You even get hurt. This isn't the best of systems. So for now we'll just borrow, borrow power from you, I think. Let's put out a line. Why not use this fancy, this fancy max tier conduit for that. So I grabbed a gas tank of ethylene and yeah, mmm. Yeah, we kind of don't want to do this here. We want access to an ME network because I planned on exporting the oxygen that on our system. Hmm. Let's uh, go somewhere. What a frame drop. <laughs> but uh, let's go somewhere like here, maybe. Yeah. So do we have another cell for that? Do we really need to make more? Prismarine. I would like the Prismarine Essence. Or at least automating Prismarine because just going over here with Quartz is a bit annoying. You only can do 9 with your buffer. So it isn't the greatest. But it isn't bad either. And where's all of my food? There we go. So we're going to do a few of these and I think maybe I can upgrade a few more. Oh yeah. Could make 10. So let's grab a power cell card. Come back down here. And I need to see. Okay, so. For now, we'll just put power here. <laughs> that looks a bit weird. And then we'll hook you up to the rest of the power cells and bring... Okay. I see what we're dealing with here. So we'll bring over the conduits to about here. And we'll have to live with this water unless we... Lock this off. But that's a, was that a chicken? Maybe it was a yoki or something. So to make HGPE pellets, we need liquid ethylene and oxygen. So 
this ethylene that we have in a gas tank we need to uh, we need to make it into a liquid so I have a few rotary condensators for that so if you get power and you will accept gas from the top I guess it doesn't where's the input maybe this is the input <laughs> I need pipes for this we'll see pressurized and you need to output where is the liquid going probably into the pipes right oh yeah we just need to target the operation so gas into liquid ethylene that's gonna last for a while then we need a pressurized chamber taking both uh both the liquid and the gas. Yeah. So for fluids, we need to input here. Let's just move it one over and try. Yeah, you're a liquid, yeah. Maybe we need to pull from you. Oh, there we go. Then, where's the cable? Okay, it's still here. Of course, it didn't go anywhere. So, we need... Do I have a gas exporter? No, we need gas. One gas exporter. And... At least one smart cable, right? So, just sticking that over here. And... Putting that there, that should be oxygen. And we need to accept the gas from that side. And we can turn that off. And this stuff. Did you get power? I just want to make sure this is connected. Yeah, it is. Why <laughs> are you not filling completely? That's a bit weird. For every 8 pellets we get, we can make a sheet, and for every sheet we get, we can make one activator. And I think we're going to go with something like 3 or 4 activators. With upgrades, that should be enough. And uh, we don't need to speed you up really, we can come back and fetch the rest of the pellets later. So that's not too shabby. And yeah. I uh, actually completed a few quests since the last episode, so maybe we'll turn them in as well. Because I did these, and these two we had done earlier when we did the ethylene setup, so... I just had to make the heat generator, bio generator, some wind and some solar. Just gonna turn all of that in. I haven't hit like a high tier of reward yet, I think. So at least this one should probably give us something good. I don't know. We will see. That's a lot of stuff, actually. <laughs> Almost done with that chapter. So let's put all of this stuff away. Launch pad. Honey soy ribs. And that's apparently rare. So let's eat those later. I do enjoy the the actual the actual food rewards epic terra steel yeah it isn't that great since we can recycle terra steel gear but yeah it's okay camp throwers transformer upgrades another range collector I wanna say because I think we have received that earlier Jarzui 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 no idea. Cave illuminators. Block of arctic fur. Can we decompress that? <laughs> okay. Apparently we can. Interesting. A resonant cell frame. That's uh, that's pretty pog actually. That's really good. And I think those are pretty hard to make. Oh yeah, these are. These are super hard to make, that's a really good reward. Let's put all of the rewards away. 
I'll keep this food on, on me for now. <laughs> Let's go check on the witch water. Should be done. So we need this to be able to hit a few mobs in there. And I wonder, can I do this? Do I need to light up that place before I go in? Or yeah, I think we'll do it like that. I just need a few building blocks. So I I think we're going to... Hey, it was those wither skeletons? Kind of looked like it. Yeah, I don't know. So we'll just... I need some more glass too. Is this bubble glass? Make that into bubble glass. Place that witch water. Yeah, it might turn those into shard cre charged creepers. And I'm just gonna try to get every side as water here, I think. Did I break more than one? Oh yeah, I broke one over there as well. I, I wasn't hearing things, I did break one over here. So that's with your skeletons, and for now I want a chest here. So I can see the drops we want, so we're looking for... Are you full? Yeah, I guess those are full. So what we're looking for is... We're looking for... We're looking for the wither dust so we can make more ender chests. That's why I'm setting this up really, because I want to be able to export more things around easily. So, let's do it properly this time. So let's look up a drawer and grab our key here. And hold that in our offhand. Kinda missed this. So as long as you hold this in your offhand, they will be locked when you place them. Which is pretty cool, and I don't think we need that many. Why are the drops landing over here? Okay, so we're gonna put all of this stuff uh, maybe down here. So these bones we can turn into wither dust. So that's already a pretty good source of it, but I do think they will drop uh, directly. What can we do with these? Mm, not much. And yeah, I'll just let this flood for now and I'll come back later because I wanted to filter out like a few of the armors like tear steel for later, so might as well do that. Kill two birds with one stone. Why would I want to kill birds really? Hmm. They are kinda getting stuck up there. I wonder if I wanted to place it down here, but sometimes this guy kills them before they land. But uh, yeah, give me a second, I'm just gonna replace them I think. <laughs> it actually drops two kinds of bones, that's a bit funny. So I think I'll do it up here instead, so it should maybe have time to convert them before they die. I think it turned. Yeah, maybe it did. And we'll put another one here too. So by the time they fall down... Yeah. I wonder if I'm seeing things or... If Wither Skeletons is actually spawning in the Cursed Earth. And yeah, I shouldn't do this. This is very bad. Why do I keep... I'm not even sure why I have, to have that trap door to be honest because... Every time I do jump down, bad things happen. It's not good at all. I just wanted to peek in, really. I think it's a lightning glitch that they are that dark. So yeah, it probably doesn't natively spawn in wither skeletons. Hello. What are you doing out here? <laughs> What's going on? That's uh, that's troubling. 
Why are you doing that? Oh, and yeah, we get the skulls as well. So that's a nice drop. Yeah, I think we're done here. I think it's maybe this interdiction pulsar. So I'll place it over here instead. Or maybe we'll just retire you because we could just put powered lanterns around the base. I don't want that to mess, our, uh, mess up our mob farm. Okay, so we want to grab our pellets. Head down and craft some of the activators. And we don't really need that. We have a wireless crafting terminal. I'm silly today. There we go. And I'm gonna turn that into a few of these. Are we missing bronze now? Really? That's the thing we don't have? There we go. Uh, more sheets for you. So three activators and I think we need that to be a gas. And right now this is a liquid. So between between this tank and the activators we need a condensator to turn that into a gas. So we do we do need another valve. Uh, just gonna grab one from here, and this won't change the capacity. But that's a lot of, yeah, it has a good volume, so to speak. I guess I'll grab another cell. I don't want to use too many cables. So you will get, but wait, you need power? I f wait, yeah, you don't need power. But a condensator would need power. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, do we want to have you a bit up here? A piece of polished stone? That looks pretty good. Now, let's see. We need cables again. Set you to extract. And yeah, turning the liquid lithium into gas, and this could m this could be a cell instead. So this we want speed upgrades on because this process is a bit it's a bit slow. And I noticed this a few weeks ago that you can actually hold shift and place the upgrades in, which helps so much. So this is now max upgrade, as we can see, which is pretty nice. And that's filled. So we need pressurized... Where's that? Pressurized tube to these activators. And that's just gonna go automatically into these activators, which won't face this way, maybe. Oh yeah, I can see the problem here. I need to think. Okay, so we need to move this. This needs a clear of the sky. I'm not sure if it needs to be like daytime. I'm just gonna... Can't I hook you up to this? Guess no. In any case, we still need to tear this down, and we need an ender tank. Now, I did put some... Wait, didn't I put some ash in the system? Oh, it's called dust. That's why I didn't see it. So, ender tanks... We can make one. Can we make two? No. <laughs> we need plates. Give me the plates. Okay, now. Now we need dandelion, about six, because this is going on the yellow channel. Then we're just gonna put this here.
And yeah, I should have colored them before, but that's fine. There we go. Some liquid lithium in that tank. Then we want a clear view of the sky here. Hello. Lurky bastard. I want to see if this works during the night time, because if it doesn't, it could pose a problem to our fusion reactor. If we run out of fuel at some point. And I guess we don't need to be that high up, really. For now, we'll just set it up over here. Place that down. Okay, it can go under, why not? Wait. Yeah, the condensant rating. So what I want to see is, is this gonna work? No, let's take a sleep. So the problem is we might need to store a large amount of tritium for nighttime, so we have a buffer. I didn't consider this. So I'm guessing it's working now. Yeah, now it's making tritium when you have the sun out. Kill that off. We probably want to, yeah, we want to upgrade these as well. Let's just, wait, you don't, oh, you only take speed. That makes sense because you don't take energy. Uh, yeah, okay. It really does get quicker. Then we need to put this in another rotary concentrator. Let's see, where do you export that gas? Is that from the front? Yeah. Okay. So the second concentrator will go here then and will bring... This shouldn't connect, right? Ooh, that's not nice. Not nice at all. Okay, so what we'll do is we want another power cable in between here. Then this guy and then you'll come down here and that will turn it back into a liquid form. And let's upgrade that fully. That uses, these machines do use a little bit of power, but nothing too bad. Then can we make more ender tanks? We could have a tritium, liquid tritium tank up next to the lithium tank. Let's see. We're probably gonna run out of something. Let me see. Make a few cauldrons here. 16 or 17. Okay. So do I have like a liquid trash can? <laughs> uh, we have trash voids. Because I don't want this crap on my white channel. So, really you could get rid of that, thank you. And we'll set them up before we hook them up to anything now. Light blue, I think we have light blue on chests, but not on fluids. We'll use this for, I mean that's pretty light blue, right? And then we'll just hook you up here. Set that to extract, and you're gonna fill. Now this might become a bottleneck at some point, because the rest of the things are pretty quick right now. Let's upgrade you, let's see you as well. You as well, I said. Why didn't you go in? You are in. And these cables, I mean, they must be able to keep up. They are not the ultimate ultimate pressurized cable. I mean, we can just up, upgrade them, I guess. 
So you set the input, it doesn't really matter, just for good measure. Then this should be output for good measure. And I'll go up and build a dynamic tank. And then I'll start filling it. So I made this one a little bit larger. Instead of a volume of 112, it has 140. That's probably cubic blocks, I think. And you're gonna go here. Extract, and that's not what we wanted. I wonder what the controller block is. Maybe it's this corner block? We'll see. Let's hope we can get it out easily. Okay. I just need the trash void again. Hook that up. Extract. There we go. And for now, this will be glass again. You extract and speed upgrades. I use a lot of speed upgrades for this setup. And that's starting to fill with liquid tritium. Now, can we go identify any bottlenecks down here while it's still day? So, what's the status of you? You're pretty much filled with liquid lithium. It's this. It's actually this rotary condensator that's kind of the bottleneck. And it doesn't need to be. Could just do another. And hook that up as well. Again, I need to craft speed upgrades. How many do I have left? 31. I'm really using a lot for this build. Let's see. And you, of course, aren't really that upgraded yet. Let's eat some ribs too. Yeah, nom. And, oh yeah. That would also explain why this does not work. Where's my shovel? So we need to bring that power over here. So they both have power now. It's... The, we could do more. Maybe we need one for each. No wait, it's... Slowly draining out. I think this might be enough, actually. Once the gas in these tubes drain out. Maybe we could... Lower... Your speed upgrades. Or would they start filling then? Ah, uh, maybe seven then. So seven speed upgrades. And you will drain out, I think. Maybe? Or is it like seven upgrades is the sweet spot? Yeah, let's just keep it at seven then. Each does require some energy. And... I really need travel anchors. One million liquid tritium millibuckets. So that's not entirely bad. I guess I don't have time to set up the pumps today, but... Yeah, at least we have one, one of the fuels solved. Because we can put this stuff in a fusion reactor. And then we just need deuterium. Either the mechanism deuterium or the nuclear craft deuterium. And we will do the mechanism one. Anyways, that's everything for this episode. As the sun is setting, we got the liquid tritium setup done and now we're killing wither skeletons in our mob farm so we can do more ender tanks and ender chests, which I'm a big fan of. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you really enjoyed the episode, you can hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, take care and stay funky.